If you're one of those people that is currently hoarding 10,000 rolls of toilet paper in your floorboards, don't do that. Yes, coronavirus has hit Australia and yes, it is serious. And while we can all agree that it is important to be able to wipe one's bum in an emergency scenario or in everyday life, frankly. Things are getting a bit much here, people. Woolworths shoppers in stampede for toilet paper as packs go on sale on Gumtree for $1,000. Apparently, we have been nabbing loo paper off the shelves so fast that... Woolworths puts a limit on toilet paper purchases. Yeah. If you shop at Woolies, you are copying a four packs per person limit. And for those overzealous consumers of fibre amongst us, that can be stressful. Is this a good time to talk about bidets? Anyway, all this comes amongst a rush of folks stockpiling non-perishable goods. The SMH looked at nine Woolworths stores across Sydney and it found... A total of 84 toilet paper products were out of stock, as well as 104 types of packaged snacks, 63 types of canned goods, 50 pasta products and 41 types of wipes. Yes, people are anxious and frankly it's not so hard to see why. Now the very latest on the coronavirus emergency is the number of cases passes 90,000 worldwide. At least 38 worldwide. confirmed cases in Australia. Iran's it's government rapidly has announced a spike in the number of coronavirus cases. Italy said cases 24 people have died in the last 24 South hours. Korea has reported its biggest single day jump. That is a lot. Coronavirus is a very real thing. The World Health Organization now puts the mortality rate at 3.4%. Thousands of people have died and it is a very difficult disease to detect and to contain. That is why it is imperative in this moment that we listen to the experts and not get too cray with the hoarding and the imagining of future scenarios where we're eating spam out of Ziploc bags in a cordoned off car park. The general expert vibe is that having two weeks worth of goods is good because it'll get you through a quarantine period should one even be necessary. Infectious disease doctors Trent Yarwood and Ian Mackay from UQ say stock up for two weeks. The government's chief medical officer says stock up for two weeks. Disaster response expert Erin Smith at Edith Cowan University says stock up for two weeks. There is no reason to go out and panic buy, says the head of the Australian Medical Association. Now, I grant you, experts don't know everything about everything, but they probably know more about this than you. And they've thought of repercussions that maybe you haven't. For example, this from the US Surgeon General. Seriously, people, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing general public from catching hashtag coronavirus. But if healthcare providers can't get them to care for sick patients, it puts them and our communities at risk. Truth is, expert advice may change depending on how the situation unfolds. But they are, whether we like it or not, best place to chart a position forward. So in conclusion, stay calm and listen only to the experts and also to me, obviously, telling you to listen to the experts. But that's it.